Hello, this is Reza from Red Acad and today I'm going to show you what is the free method of sharing in Power BI called publish to web, what are uh, reports that you can share with these methods, what are reports you cannot, what are ways to share it and how you can unshare it this way. Let's check it out. First thing you need to know about uh, publish to web uh, or this method of sharing is that uh, this method of sharing is only available in Power BI website. It's part of the service features. It's not available in Power BI report server. Report server has its own way of sharing. Um, so let's say you have published your report into the Power BI website, uh, like this uh, is my Power BI website environment, and now you want to share it with others. And they don't have Power BI accounts, you don't want to pay for licenses or anything like that. You have created a report which has nothing confidential in it, and you want to share it uh, with just a link to others. Uh, so they can use it uh, and you don't need you don't want licensing right if your report has nothing confidential in it it's um, it can be available for public then you can go to the report and use this method first uh, thing to do in power bi website is that this is only available in reports it's not available in dashboards so you'll go to your report let's say i go and find my report um uh, I open the report. When I open the report, there are uh, some different options for sharing, but the options that is available uh, called publish to web is here. Um, you can go click on these three dots. Then under embed, you'll find publish to web public. And as you see, that public means that this this way of sharing has no security around it as well. Right? Uh, other methods of sharing are different. Um, so I click on publish to web. Uh, it comes up with a message that says uh, this way of sharing that you are about to use is giving you a link that you can use in public. Are you sure about that? You can say, yep, create embed code. Uh, again, it tells you that it is available for public. Are you really sure yet that you want to do that? Uh, you can say, yep, publish. And now it comes up with two things. Uh, one is a URL that you can easily share with others. Another is an iframe code that you can go and embed it in any web page, any HTML web page. It can be a normal web page. It can be a WordPress web page, anything. You can also choose the sizing of that as well. Now, just to show you how it works, I copy the link in here and then I go to uh, to another browser and in another browser I just paste it and it won't even ask me to log in in the page as you can see this just simply browse the page and show me the content um, the Power BI content as many as pages that I have it will come up and show me that page um, so it is coming a little bit slowly um, one uh, thing that is important to mention is that this link, some people go and put it in a web page. Um, let me just wait for this to come up. Uh, some people go and um, um, put it in a web page that is secure, like SharePoint and other places, and then they think, okay, this method of sharing can be a secure method of sharing, but it's not because uh, as soon as you get this method of sharing, if someone goes and right click on the page, view the um, HTML code, copy that iframe and paste it somewhere else, then this will be um, showing um, in other pages as well, right? Uh, this method of sharing is fully interactive like any other reports in Power BI. Now it is a little bit slow because my internet connection right now is slow, I'm using the uh, hotel internet connection. I'm doing this video from a uh, hotel room. Uh, but as you can see, everything works perfectly fine. It's like a normal report. I have only one page, so that's why it just shows one page to me. Uh, and everything works uh, perfectly fine. And at the bottom of this page, you can also see that I have all sharing uh, options to LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, anywhere that I want to share, right? Uh, so it's not a Mm, confident it's not a method for confidential reports it's definitely a method for reports that you want to publish as part of your company very high level information like this many projects we have done this many clients we have things like that 
uh, and then embed it into your web page uh, like a uh, interactive report which would be quite fantastic but no details uh, because people can go from here and would be able to do some uh, analysis on top of it right uh, so uh, let's say you have created this uh, report and you shared it this way and um, now you want to unshare it how you can unshare it um, in power bi from the account that you have already shared it you can go to the setting under setting there is an option for manage embed codes and this option will uh, show you all reports that you have generated uh, that you have uh, shared through this way as you can see i have already shared some of these reports and the time that they have been created uh, then i can go and click on any of these get code will give me the code again delete will not delete the report it will delete the link to that report so as soon as i say delete on this one it usually takes a little bit of time as well. So it's deleted over there. Now when I refresh it here, um, it should be it should come up with a message that says this report is not available, but it takes some time. So it might not do it at the very first option. But yeah, here it is. So this content isn't available. So that, that's uh, you creating the report uh, link and uh, you unsharing it. But let's say as a Power BI administrator, you want to see all published webs uh, options uh, that people did. Uh, if you have Power BI administrator access, you can go to the setting under admin portal. Uh, everyone has access to admin portal, but Power BI administrator has other options. And one of those options that Power BI administrator has access to is embed codes. This embed codes is across the entire tenant. So anyone in my tenant um, who actually used um, this method and shared a Power BI link using publish to web, I can see their um, links the time that they have created and I can uh, manage it control it and say I want to delete this I want to open it you, you can see here that um, these are actually links that have been created and I can um, do an action of viewing the report or deleting the link there is also an option for Power BI Administrator to disable this feature because it's quite sensitive um, for your data. You don't want everyone to go and use this method. Some users don't really know what this is and they might suddenly go and use it. Uh, in the tenant settings where you control everything in Power BI tenant, one of the options is publish to web. And under publish to web, which is by default enabled, you can say disable it. Uh, for the entire organization or you can say enable it but only for a specific group of people and those people whom you know that they know what they are doing you can add them as a group here uh, publish to web has no licensing needs except the developer who is using it um, um, which needs power bi pro or um, or whatever uh, licensing they are using premium or whatever uh, but users don't really need any licensing they don't even need login they just um, use power bi reports with just the link or an embedded part in a power bi report don't use this method for confidential report use it only for uh, highlighted reports uh, high level reports that is available for public if you want to use other methods which are more secure go and check out my other uh, sharing methods uh, down in the link below i have written about all sharing methods in power bi in my uh, blog articles if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to your channel uh, we have weekly videos of power bi and ai thank you